Hey guys, today is a special edition video in which we're going to show you how to make one of our favorite holiday cookies. These are great for all of those cookie exchanges coming up, the parties, and they are... The Buckeye Brownie Cookies. They are so good. It's peanut butter and chocolate, which who doesn't love that? Well, I do. I do too. <laughs> and they're super easy to make. So before we get started in showing you how to make these really delicious cookies, I bet you've noticed our super cute aprons. That's right. Well, here's the thing. Bumblebee Linens reached out to us and they knew we like to bake, mm -hmm. which is nice. And they wanted to know if we wanted to check out their line of really cute aprons. And clearly yeah. today we are twinsies. They have mommy and me aprons. They have aprons for adults and they even have aprons, obviously, to make the mommy and me aprons for kids from 3T to 6T. Look how cute this little one is. And then 7 to 11 years old. You can get them get monogrammed, mine's monogrammed, hers has her whole name on it. I think they're super cute, and when you're baking for the holidays, I think we should look cute, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. So these are gonna keep our clothes clean, but I'm a little afraid to get the aprons dirty because they're so cute. Yeah. They're... We'll just wash them if it happens. Yeah. So these are Bumblebee Linen aprons. If you want to get some for yourself, we have a super discount code for you 10% off and I'm gonna put the link in the description below if you want to check them out there's all kinds of different patterns and colors to choose from I really like these just because I think the yeah. red is these great for the holidays cute. these are really cute and I love the ruffles at the bottom and I love that she's still allowing me to be twinsies with her <laughs> <laughs> okay so let's get started in the on the Buckeye brownie cookies in order to make Buckeye brownie cookies here's what you'll need you're gonna need a quarter cup of butter four ounces of cream cheese, one egg, six ounces of chocolate chips, dark chocolate, and one cup of peanut butter, and a cup of powdered sugar, as well as a family size box of brownie mix. Really, really easy. Now, the powdered sugar, the peanut butter, and the chocolate, those are gonna go second. Those are the toppings for the cookies. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna make the cookies. And you're not gonna follow the box of brownie mix that's right you are going to put the three ingredients in right here you're not going to worry about the oil the water or anything like that brownie mix and these three ingredients into a mixer Okay, so once you've mixed your cookie mix, which was super easy, you're gonna go ahead and get a baking sheet. We put a silicone baking mat on top just so it doesn't stick, but you don't need it if you don't want to. Now you wanna go ahead and scoop your cookies onto the baking sheet. And you wanna use a small cookie scoop. You don't want huge giant cookies because otherwise it'll be too big. Okay, so once you have scooped all of your cookies on your tray, it makes about 20 cookies because we have about another half a tray to go. Um, you're gonna go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees and cook the cookies for 11 to 13 minutes. Now you wanna keep an eye on them because you don't want them to burn. Yes. But you want them to be set so that you can then pop the mm -hmm. peanut butter ball on top at the end. So let's get these in the oven. Once the cookies are in your oven, make the peanut butter balls. So what you're gonna put together is the peanut butter. Go ahead and put that in your mixing bowl. And the powdered sugar. And you can go ahead and dump that right on top and it's a cup of each. Now you don't wanna turn your mixer on too fast like oh, I did like last time. time. And then once it's all combined, we're gonna roll it into one inch peanut butter balls and we're gonna set that aside for when the cookies are um, come out of the oven. Now the peanut butter um, stuff is gonna be crumbly, but it's okay because we're gonna roll it into little balls. Yeah. So. But it makes it easy. So that's kind of what it looks like. It is crumbly. Oops. Oh. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead. You just want to take a little bit until you get like small little peanut butter balls. Go ahead and roll it in between your hands until you have little peanut butter balls like that. Set them on a plate off to the side. And you could use chunky peanut butter as well. We did that on the last time we did cookies and they tasted good too. So mm -hmm. it just depends on what kind of peanut butter you like and what kind of peanut butter you have on hand. You know what I find also is that, you know how popular the peanut butter balls and the Oreo truffle balls are at the holidays? Well, you have to hand dip those in chocolate, which takes a lot of time and yeah. it's really messy. These, we're just kind of slathering the dark chocolate on top of the cookies, which makes it much easier. And they're beautiful cookies. So definitely yeah. ones you can 
take to a party or like I said, a cookie exchange. Okay, once you remove them from the oven, be careful of the hot pan, of course, mm -hmm. but immediately you wanna take your peanut butter balls and you wanna go ahead and just lightly press it into your cookies. Now you don't wanna wait too long or you're not gonna be able to get it into the cookies. You don't wanna press it all the way in, just like halfway. And, and a good idea too is if the peanut butter balls are pretty big, kind of flatten them a little bit and that will have peanut butter on more of the cookies. Okay, so for, from here, what you wanna do is you wanna let them sit on the tray for about two minutes, and then you wanna remove them onto a cooling rack, let them cool completely before you put the dark chocolate on top. Mm -hmm. But while they're cooling, we can go ahead and melt the chocolate in the microwave. All you have to do is put your chocolate in a microwave safe bowl, put it in for 30 seconds at a time, stir it until it's completely melted. Okay, now that the cookies are completely cooled, we have melted our dark chocolate to make sure that we can spoon it on top. All you have to do is take a spoonful of chocolate mm -hmm. and pour it right on the top. Now you don't want it to spill all over the top, but you want mm -hmm. it to go all over the peanut butter to kind of disguise the peanut butter that it's in there and to give it enough chocolate that it has a nice crunch on top. Because this chocolate is gonna harden once the whole cookie sets but I'm gonna go ahead and let her do that. They're really, really pretty cookies. And they're super yummy because they're kind of like a peanut butter cup with a brownie mixed in with chocolate on the top. And how can you go wrong with that, right? Oh, no, it's delicious. Okay, now that you have chocolate on all of your cookies, we're gonna go ahead and let it sit until the chocolate on the top hardens and then we're going to taste test them. Yes. Pretty excited about it. Okay, so. We have two of the finished cookies. They look like little mini peanut butter volcanoes on some yeah. of them. Some of them are, they're really, really cute. They got the chocolate on the top. So I brought us two. We're gonna go ahead and taste test them just to make sure they're as good as we remember them being the last time we made them, so. <laughs> <laughs> These are really good. Mm. It's like a big, mm. huge peanut butter cup cookie. Mm -hmm. Really good. And I love that the chocolate on the top is hardened, so it kind of like crunches. So these are really, really good. They're really easy to make and they make a great holiday cookie. So that's it guys, that is how to make them. If you're interested in checking out the Bumblebee linen aprons like we're wearing here, the Mommy and Me ones, or you want one for just the kids or just the adults, there is a link in the description below with a 10% off coupon code to use for Bumblebee mm -hmm. linens. Thank you so much for them sponsoring this video to show you how to make our favorite Christmas or holiday cookies. That's it for us. Don't forget to leave us a comment. You know what I wanna know? I wanna know what their favorite holiday cookie is that you make. And yeah. if you have the recipe, put the recipe in the link below too. I would yeah. love that. Put that in your comments. So comment below, tell us what your favorite holiday cookie is. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you wanna see more recipes from us. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye. Right. Bye, guys.